what's up basketball trainers not going to be here long what, what i really wanted to uh share with you is some thoughts on skills clinics the skills clinics are something that i would like to maximize personally and i, I think all of us should maximize them as well because there are so many school districts in our proximity that don't have school sometimes, whether it's a teacher professional work day, it's a holiday, it's a who, who, who knows, you name it. And there are a lot of kids who are more than willing and, and parents who are more than willing to, to have their sons or daughters trained. So we've been trying to run a skills clinic for every school district whenever they are out of school because it just makes sense to do that, you know, and you can kind of play with the numbers and, and get the result that you want to. But what I'm trying to figure out right now and look, it's simple. Go to the school district calendar in your area, find out the teacher professional days, run a skills clinic that day. Uh, we got an entire document on it too, on, on the process and the checklist and the steps you need. So if you want that, let me know. I'll be glad to send it to you. Um, Myson at hoopsinstitute.com. But so once you get that set, once you have all the dates set for the days that students are out of school and you have marketing and advertising for them, it, it can be pretty helpful, especially during the slower months, months. But my question for you and a thought for you, which we're going to start doing is reframing what the skills clinics are, the titles. The parent told me, he said, in something I've experienced too, sometimes there is skills clinic fatigue where you might have 20 one time. And then the next time you have 30 and the next time you have five, maybe 10. And it's like, why, why are these numbers dropping? And it could be because of the novelty or the lack thereof of the title. So you have skills clinic, skills clinic, skills clinic, instead of point guard, uh, uh, we can't say point guard college because that's already like, everybody knows what point guard college is. Maybe uh, a wing workshop or point guard um, academy or whatever the name is. You can have that name. And what we're going to try to do are some more shooting clinics, ball handling clinics. Um, I don't know if defense will sell like that, but defensive clinics, like it, it's worth it, right? It, it's worth worthy skill to focus on. So my question and challenge is for you to try to run more skills clinics because I doubt that many trainers are taking advantage of those days that kids are out of school. And I'm sure parents want their kids to be able to do something. And then how can you title it uh, to where there is novelty every single time? And my question for you is, do you run skills clinics and do you change the names of them often? And if you do, does it help you to keep the sessions fresh, to keep new faces in there and to have uh, more closer to 100 percent capacity? So that's my spiel. Hope you guys are having a great day and have a great rest of your week. And I will catch you on the next one.